if if you're talking about cars and 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 you you said, mentioned earlier about is there anything it, it, not competition but something you had in the back of your mind and another ma manufacturer who you regard as as as, as sort of something to, to be either be aware of or, or you know, look at um, which is fair enough and I kind of I kind of bypass that a bit but in my own mind um, I, I, I was very interested uh, <coughs> in Bugatti uh, in the days of when they were doing the Royales because here we have it was, it was a father and son outfit um, and they they were <laughs> They'd, they'd almost gone beyond Rolls Royce in 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 some ways. Uh, uh, they they were, the Italians. I'm, I'm a big fan of the Italians, but they don't think like us. They really don't. I mean, I've worked with them a lot, and and they're, they're plugged into some other power source. You know, they they're amazing people when it comes to engineering. Uh, but the Bugatti Royale was was this uh, and a, 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 a sort of determination. To just have the ultimate, if you like. When are we talking? What kind of period? Well, the nineteen twenties. Yeah, I mean. So there would have been the Rolls Royce Phantom One. Yeah, they'd be uh, well aware of Rolls Royce. Uh, the, you know, but, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, but big. I mean, I can't even at the moment quote you the the overall dimensions, but they were very large vehicles. Um, I mean, you talk about big alloy wheels these days, but I mean, they, these <laughs> they were. I don't know where they got the tyres from. I, I I could look that up, but they they were huge vehicles, um, and and bizarrely they 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 had a mascot because mascots were a big deal in this time. You know, everyone had mascots, and and one of the boys, one of the, one of his sons, um, was interested in animal sculpture. So they had this this elephant on the front, which seems it seems like now it seems you know, elephant on a on a big Bugatti, but. That was the the image they were after. Something absolutely exotic. This is this is well beyond anything else anyone else can do. Were they trying to beat Rolls Royce? Would Rolls Royce have been as established at that time? Uh, it's a good question, and I I, 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 I I'm still thinking about the the motivation, um, but 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 it's it's just intriguing to me that they 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 took it to this kind of level, and, and they only made a few of these vehicles. Um, but I'll just rattle through some of them because, well, this is the family, actually. This is all of them. Um, they may not be in the right order, but... I mean, the... The, the top one. See, such this, a this, this top car. one, I mean, this is why the Rolls-Royce concept I've just shown you is that kind of thing where, you know, you've got a very large motor car with absolutely quite a small saloon. You know, it, it's 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 just a grand statement. There's no you can't. I'm saying you can't defend it on logic. It's 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 beyond normal logic. It's just an incredible statement of what <laughs> what man can do if he wants to make a big statement about a motor car. And and there was a, a wonderful exhibition at the Royal College of Art about Bugattis. And I mean, the family were amazing. They they did furniture. Uh, the, 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 that son did animal, the animal sculptures, which which one of the sons did, to me are just the best things I've ever seen uh, as far as sculpture. But he was an artist. Yeah, I, yeah. I think. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, they even made their own pasta makers. They uh, there was nothing they didn't. They were amazing. Turn their hands. They were to. amazing. And and the the a key statement which I read once, uh, which I I really rang a bell with me. Is the fact they'd put as much attention into into a, a bracket in the chassis, which would never be seen. Yes, you know they I were think... those cars were. You're right in that... terms of Rolls Royce competitors, <laughs> they certainly would qualify. You know they they everything was was a work of art to them. It was engineering and art. It's funny then that the race cars they made were so lightweight. Yeah. And ironically, ended up competing against Bentley. It sort of came well, full circle. Then you had this uh, game with going into Bentley's. But I mean, you, again, you're saying that well, I think it was wasn't a Bentley quote about Bentley's make the fastest lorries. Lorries. <laughs> but <laughs> look at the, yeah. these were trucks. <laughs> but, 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 but you know, 
Well, they were doing alloy wheels when no one else was. It was, it was absolutely amazing. And this, I mean, you can argue this is, I mean, weird, but it is, it's literally a coach. That is yeah. a coach. There's nothing, you know, that is a landolette. There's a coach, you know, on, on wheels. Um, extraordinary. Um, so alloy wheels came out, they were doing them in the 30s, but yeah. they didn't arrive. They no, then I mean, disappeared. Well, racing, the racing cars the you racing mentioned. Cars. Gorgeous wheels on mm, those, weren't beautiful. they? The spokes. And they yeah. was, it, was a, it was a concept. I mean, you could put one of those spoke wheels out now and no one would challenge you no. for being old fashioned or anything, you know. It was just a gorgeous use of. But they didn't really, alloy wheels didn't arrive to no. normal cars no. for 40 or 50 years no, later. Absolutely. But, well, it's barely, well, you know. The, These the, are all your own illustrations. They're beautifully drawn. Well, I, I just love the. You know, I had to do justice to these things. Um, and once you get the wheel, I mean, this this wheel again is, <laughs> you know, it's incredible. You can have year decades of, of of young designers trying to come up with alloy wheels, and they still are. And you, you I've seen, I've seen nothing better than than one of those wheels. They're, they're perfect. And again, you see, they've got the fixed highlight. It's a it's a massive car with a huge engine, but they're not trying to. And not trying to over egg, egg the pudding with the fixed the, highlight is the horizon yes, line. That is the horizon. There's a sky. There's there's the the, the ground. And, and why is that so important? Why because, does that work so because, well? Because it's it's like a mirror, which it, it works whether the car is stationary or moving. There is no difference. Oh yes, you're not yes, trying yes. to communicate movement because yeah. this thing is inherently m movement. You yeah. know, it, it is a machine. Um, and you don't have to say, oh, I've got these spokes that, t -t 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 -t, you know. Yeah. It's, and of course, the, to me, I, I can't, I, <laughs> I'm not saying I like the aesthetics of these vehicles, but apart from that one, which with a very small cabin, um, but I just ad admire the thinking behind them, yeah. the, the, the execution. I mean, this gorgeous, look at that wing. I mean, it's, it's, it's outrageous, you know. It's it, when you imagine this, I mean, a man standing beside this. <laughs> yeah, these cars are huge. I mean, in real life. 